Hi, I'm Jennifer Henderson, Keeper of the Registers of Scotland. I wanted to spend a few minutes providing my reflections on my first year, because quite amazingly, it's nearly a year since I walked through the door, or actually came through the door on my crutches, to join ROS as Keeper. And I'd done a bit of homework before I joined, and I thought I knew some of the things that I wanted to focus on in my first year. But I thought I'd share a little bit about what I set as my personal year one priorities and how I think it's gone. So I had three priorities for the business in the first year. I wanted to get to know the business, I wanted to get to know the stakeholders, and I wanted to figure out where I could make a difference as quickly as possible. So let me tell you a little bit about each of those. Getting to know the business was an absolute joy. I spent time out in all areas of the business, sitting alongside people, understanding how they did their jobs, understanding the challenges they faced. It ranged from coming in at five o'clock in the morning to open the post, to being able to do a two-day legal settle, to being able to draw a plan, and sitting with all the other teams in the business, our digital teams, our uptake teams, and so on. And it was really fantastic. And that's not to forget all the folks who support the organisation organisation, estates and communications and HR and the procurement folks and the finance folks and the list could go on, making sure I really understood the business inside out. And after a bit of time with that, which did go on all through the year, but after a bit of time with that I wanted to turn some of my attention to meeting the stakeholders. And we embarked in aut on the autumn in a really quite exciting set of visits around Scotland, taking on board the feedback that stakeholders and customers said to us, we want to see you where we work, we don't want to be coming to Edinburgh or Glasgow all the time to engage with you as an organisation. So we wrote out to all the legal faculties and we offered to come out and visit and ran workshops and seminars and Q&A sessions at a number of locations around the country. And I'll share in a moment some of the insights we got from that. But we weren't just focusing on meeting our customers. I was also focusing on meeting other stakeholders, talking to people like the Scottish Land Commission, talking to people like the Coal Authority who work with us on certain aspects of the role we fulfil, and making sure I, as broadly as possible, understood who uses ROS, who works with ROS, and who do we support. So, the diagram on screen shows you something about where we managed to get to on all those visits around the customers and we got some really valuable insights. We heard about how people feel about the digital transformation we're going through, we heard about how people feel about the services we're offering such as Scotless, we heard a bit about the map and the underlying map and how that causes challenges for people. And obviously one of the big things that came up time and again was the fact that we do have a backlog of registration applications and people were, I think, grateful to hear about what we were doing to address that. And that brings me on to the final thing to tell you about in terms of what I focused on in the first year, that sort of idea of where could I make an impact. Very early on I realised I wanted to do something about the backlog of applications and I think we have made really good progress this year in addressing that and addressing some of the symptoms and the problems that having that backlog causes. I've been also giving evidence at committees. There's new regulations coming in for the Register of Controlling Interest and I had the great opportunity to talk to the Economy, Energy and Fair Work Committee about all aspects of ROS work along with my colleague Janet Egdal. And I feel that that has really allowed me to demonstrate one of the other key things I wanted to really focus on in the first year was trying to make us more transparent as an organisation, trying to be more accountable for what we do and be really transparent about how we're performing, the challenges we're facing and what we're doing to resolve them. I wanted to really quickly summarise um, where we've got to with the aspects of the corporate plan we've been working to and if you're familiar with that you'll know that we were focusing on completing the land register by 2024. Still a work in progress but clearing the arrear has really helped us start to move towards that. We had a big emphasis this year in making Scotless our platform of choice and I'm absolutely delighted that we've turned off registers direct and Scotless is now the platform of choice and many solicitors are very complimentary about how it helps them do their job. We've been working as an organisation towards becoming digital by 2020 and while some of our digital services have gone from strength to strength in the current year, such as digital discharge, in consultation with customers, we've slightly changed direction on some of the other aspects of our digital work and slowed the pace down a little deliberately to make sure that what we're delivering is really meeting customers' needs. 
and working on becoming an agile and sustainable business, we've constantly been looking in the last year about how can we do things that really meet our customers' needs and help them do their jobs more effectively. So I really wanted to say an enormous thank you to everyone who works for the organisation and everyone who works with the organisation for your support to me in my first year of the role. I've really enjoyed it and I'm very much looking forward to the coming years. Which brings me on finally to tell you about our four strategic objectives that we're about to start working on. Land register completion remains an absolute focus, as does getting information out and making sure that the information we hold is really useful to as many people as possible. We continue to want to deliver effective digital services, what our customers need, and it's going to help our customers do their job. And then finally, we want to continue to make sure we're investing in making sure that ROS people are as well placed as they possibly can be to be effective and deliver really great customer service. So I'm really looking forward to building on everything I've done in year one and everything the organisation has done in year one. And I'm looking forward to working with colleagues, customers and stakeholders to take the organisation forward towards 2024 and beyond. Thank you very much.